This is my favorite part of the presentation. I'm really excited to be able to talk about this. What is the secret? What is the secret that I said in the beginning that I was going to reveal at the end? Oh, it's exciting. You ready? Here we go. So before I release it, I have to tell you what it's not. I couldn't let you have it that, that easy, right? So let me tell you what this is not. This is not a special way of structuring your ad account. This is not a special way of like, hey, let me um, set up this CBO paired with this ABO paired with like this other thing to like maximize the amount of people. I'm. It has nothing to do with setting up your ad accounts in any type of way. This tactic also has nothing to do with changing your budget to weird numbers to win auctions. Instead of spending $300 a day, it's not setting your budget to 351 cents per day because that extra 51 cents is going to allow you to win auctions over the other. Like it's none of that. Those tactics, that's, that's not what this is. And it's certainly not a new way of creating audiences. It's again, going back to how I used to buy ads where um, I'm trying to target this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing all in one to find little slivers and pockets of buyers. And like, I, that's how I'm going to find profitability is targeting my way to success. It's none of that. Okay. The only paid traffic secret tactic that will stand the test of time. There's a lot of T's in that sentence. But again, that's how you know it's going to be terrific. Ah, okay. Just kidding. That was really cheesy. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> laugh track. The only paid traffic secret tactic that will stand the test of time, even if AI takes over and starts running your ads, even if platforms change, you can't advertise on YouTube or Facebook or any of these platforms, even if data privacy strengthens, tracking weakens, you can't see into your ads as well anymore. And even if the grid collapses. There's no more internet. World War III, we're having to rebuild and you have to start running billboards and newspaper ads for your affiliate offers. The only paid traffic secret tactic that will stand the test of time is understanding your customer. That's it. Mind blown. Mic drop. That is the secret. If you want to, if you want to increase your performance on your ads, it comes back to this. That's the secret. There is no hack. There is no secret bu button pushing. There is no uh, certain way of like juicing the algorithm to do this and do that. It all comes back into this. You have to understand how your customers feel today. You have to understand what their dream state is, what's important to them, what's holding them back, what they can't do now that they could do with your product. Because when you do this and when you understand this, then you can create better creative and better funnels, and that's how you increase your performance, okay? So I wanna talk uh, really quickly just about like, how do you actually figure that stuff out? So what I do is I ask myself why, and I continue to ask myself why over and over, okay? So let's take an example um, an example product like Ted's woodworking plans. I think so many different uh, people on stage have used the woodworking plans as an example. Um, so the first question I would ask is why would somebody buy this? They would buy it to get better at woodworking. That's a very surface level answer, right? Why do they want to get better? So that their work looks better and more professional. Well, why do they want their work to look better and look more professional? Well, maybe it's because they want to create a gift that they're proud of to give to their grandson. And they want to, they want to create something that they're proud of to, to hand down. Well, let's continue that, that question. Why do they want to create a gift to give something to their grandson? Because they want their grandson to remember how great their grandpa was. Why do they want their grandpa to remember how great their grandpa was? Do you see what I'm doing here? I'm continuing to ask the question why, and as you continue to do that, you'll peel back the layers as to the real reasons why people are buying products. And that's how you understand your customer, and that's how you play this out. So option A, outcome A might be because they want to pass it down, what, they want to pass down what it means to work hard and work with your hands to the youth and their family. Or maybe it's because their grandpa never did something like that for them and they wish that they did. So you're not marketing, when you, th when you think about what you're marketing, you're not marketing, hey, these are really awesome woodworking plans. The actual thing, the actual reason why people are buying this is because of their legacy. They wanna feel good about what they hand down 
to their grandkids. They want to feel good about the legacy that they're leaving. And so that's what you go after. That's what you market with. You have to peel back the layers and figure that out. Okay? And so um, what, you'll, what you'll find is that um, the reason, uh, or, or if you want to figure out essentially how people, um, how people think about themselves, how people view themselves, then look at the products that they buy. And if you can um, if you can understand that people buy products to basically show the world what they think about themselves internally, what they want the world to see, then you can reverse engineer that as a marketer and you can use that in your ad copy and in your creative to then market to them and sell to them. Okay, the big picture here, the big picture I'm trying to get across to all of you is that if you understand your customer, you will create better copy and you will create better ad creative. And if you can create better, better copy and you can create better ad creative, you will have more profitable ads. And if you have more profitable ads, then it's whatever you want it to be. If you have more profitable ads, you get to do whatever you want. That means you're getting to make more, you get to make more money, right? So maybe for some of you, that's to quit your job. That's what that means. Maybe profitable ads for some of you means you just get to scale your business and you get to create this, this affiliate empire, right? Or maybe it's just like, uh, if I have more profitable ads and I can make some more money, I just get to spend time with my family. The point is, is if you have more profitable ads, you have options. And how you get that starts with understanding your customer and then everything in your funnel, everything in your ads gets, gets flavored by that. And any changes in the future are absolutely nothing when you nail this. They mean nothing. Again, I use the over-the-top examples of like the grid collapses, we don't have internet, whatever. It doesn't matter if you're on paid, you're using paid traffic like online or it doesn't matter if you're, you're marketing in a newspaper or, or on a TV or whatever. If you understand this, you can win. And at the end of the day, the people who are gonna be successful on paid traffic and on paid media and on these paid platforms are the ones who understand their customer better than the next marketer. That's how they win. So the last thing that I wanna say is that as you go through this journey and you think about um, and you start running ads, or maybe you've already been running ads, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, paid ads can feel a lot like a video game. It's this weird thing where like, you like put in dollars and you like connect your, your credit card to these ad platforms. And then like, if you're doing it right, all of a sudden, like your actual bank account starts going up because you start making money. It's this very weird thing. But in reality, paid ads, marketing is the most human thing ever. Paid ads, marketing, it's this beautiful mix between uh, mathematics and data and science and art and psychology. And it sits in the middle of all of this. And so what you need to remember regardless of the trends, regardless of uh, what happens in the future, what changes in the future, what platforms change, you need to remember that on the other side of the screen is another human being. And so if you can write to that person, if you can show creative that's compelling to that, that person, and you can speak to that person, then you can win on paid media, regardless of the changes in the future.